hi and welcome to another video this is just a quick intro to show you that today's video is going to be all about the lambs have a look at the lambs how they're doing now on the 9th of june this was filmed and we are worming and vaccinating today So I have been trying to figure out um, what it is that I need to do, what I need to prioritise as the, uh, the sheep jobs have been, sheep and lamb jobs have been sort of building up a little bit. So I've made my list of what I need to do. So uh, we're shearing next week. Foot bathing is just like a job on the on the back burner. We've done one, one round of foot bathing since the lambs were born. That's supposed to say worming. Um, that is this stuff, which I just bought, um, which is the vaccination for the lambs. And I'm just kind of getting organised with this sterilomatic gun, a mineral drench. And then this is for against maggots. And it has been, uh, we have had mild, uh, mild and warm and wet weather. So we've had one ewe with maggots so far um, that we found when we were trimming the tails out. Um, and a couple of friends, like I speak to other farmers and someone said to me they've had a few lambs with maggots. So we're, we're going to have to sort of put that job kind of high on the list. So uh, Nick and I are currently trying to get organised. Um, so I'm going to measure out how much wormer and stuff I need um, based on the number of lambs that we have. And uh, we're going to try and get a good system going so that we can get done what we need to do and enjoy it instead of feeling um, mildly overwhelmed. Um, so this is the mineral drench. Um, um, this is the worming, the wormer. Um, and this is what we have always used for um, fly strike. So everything is gonna be ready to go and we're gonna get a system going here in the shed and um, start ticking off those jobs and we've got the old tractors here that have moved into the middle of the uh, shed here so that we can get the hay equipment out as uh, that is going to be coming up soon um, and as you can see the campsite over there so it's all here including Nick in order to get going the first job is get the ewes and lambs in and we just got in one field we've actually got three fields we decided to split them into two groups so we're just doing half to start with for now and separate the ewes off. It's a good opportunity to have a good look at how they are growing. Growing well. So I have the stuff ready to go on a string. We've got the lambs in the shed so I'm going to go and crack on. Wish me luck. That's our first effort. So I've been doing this. It's Nick's first go with that, which is um, it's actually wormer and mineral drench combined. And Sarah is our friend who's actually a doctor and she's providing medical <laughs> support to make sure that I'm doing this right. Because last time I was worried about the, uh, 
under the skin uh, injection technique, but today I think for the lambs at least, we've, we've mastered it, so onwards. Go on then, lambies. Make sure we've not missed any. So they're all going back in the shed now. We're going to do the same process, but filter off the ewes and worm the ewes. So now we're worming the ewes. Um, this is just the first group, and then we're going to have a tea break and um, carry on. So this is the view from the top as we go to fetch in the second group, and it's a slightly larger group. I think there's about 50 ewes in this group and all of their lambs. This was the triplets field originally, so quite a few triplets up here. This is why we did not do the click today because it is now chucking it down. So we decided to abandon the plan to spray the lambs with the Provec against fly strike because the rain was looking like it was threatening, it wouldn't have been worthwhile. Okay, so this is the, the first group going back out to the field. So after we'd completed all the work with that group, we put them back in the shed, shut them in the shed, got the second group down, and then uh, moved the ewes and lambs back out to the field. So we've very nearly finished, very, very nearly finished, but we have actually run out of stuff so i i thought i bought three bottles this has done 150 lambs 300 mil uh so i'm just five five lambs short and that could have just been from like um one one misfire um, and um the, the needle leaked a little bit not a lot but a little bit and um so yeah so i don't know exactly how many we did but um just five short so i don't know i'll probably ring up the vet and ask whether you can buy an individual dose or something but other than that i think it's gone quite well feel quite confident or feel more comfortable doing it so that's good and the lambs look good so that's good and we've just given the ones that we haven't done a blue cross on the head so that we can find them if we decide that we can do them at a later date so the last job of the day is to worm the ewes we've got about 50 ewes left to go and ready for it to be done now so i can have a sit down <laughs> my arms are hurting but it's been good so last push and then relax so we are done aren't we rosy That's the second group complete and really happy to have got those jobs ticked off so the ewes and lambs can all return to the field and it looks like it's going to rain. So we've got to drive up to the top to open the gate just as the heavens opened but wait for this. An absolutely beautiful rainbow. Maybe it's a sign that my dad was watching over us. So we couldn't do this because of the weather. It wasn't the right day to do this, but we have done this, this, 
this uh, and this, which is pretty good day's work, I would say. So thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I very quickly got changed, although I do still appear to be covered in shit. Um, so uh, yeah, just time to unwind um, and reflect on what has been a really um, good day and lots accomplished. And the main thing is that the, the sheep and the lambs look really good. Um, and so it feels like we're getting on top of things. Thanks for watching, bye.